So this is the one you ran away from, Team Spin. Is that what you're trying to tell me? I mean... One. Oh, how many? We've got four squares. I mean, I just instantly think of something like this. Because we have the same amount of squares as we have rectangles. I'm a sucker for a symmetrical solution for things. I think will happen. Probably absolutely nothing I'll be, but can I fit everything around this then? with like straight pieces the fact that I keep getting like the same then again like, it's like <laughs> the part of this that drives you to insanity <laughs> Let 
Maybe I should um, concentrate instead on trying to make like a square pattern out of the other pieces first. Then trying to fit the squared off pieces afterwards. Obviously that could be easier said than done. Six across, so I haven't got enough to do. I was thinking I like, can put that there and then do some normal rectangles across the top. But yeah, that doesn't work for those pieces there. I think that's probably a better approach and a better strategy solving this one. Three, three, four. Oh, maybe I just do that again. And then I just fill out the rest with these, right? There we go. Excellent. My years of doing jigsaw puzzles and recognizing shape patterns <laughs> has not failed me yet. Alrighty. Let's go and talk to Cornelius. Greetings. Welcome to the Museum of the Simulation. My name is Cornelius. It's a pleasure to meet you, 1K. Yes. Athena activated myself and Eustathius shortly after she was born. We've been here almost since the beginning, although we didn't have to pass through the trials of the simulation. She did that for us. For everyone. She was... human. She wasn't, was she? That's a difficult question. Perhaps one day we'll find out. But until we do, why don't you think about it? What could make the person who started all this want to leave it behind? Because she realized that she'd created too many people and it wasn't the civilization that she wanted to create, so she wanted to go off and start another one. I don't know. Um... to remind people of where we came from. The simulation shaped us, whether we like it or not, and its lessons remain important for our future. As Santayana said, those who cannot remember the past are condemned to repeat it. Ah, as the name suggests, the archive scholars study the archive a repository of all ancient human knowledge. Some of them also study what remains of the simulation, trying to extract more information about the process that created us. Me? No. My brother, Eustathius, used to occupy that position. But these days he's... retired. Rand is in charge of the Archive Scholars now. You can find him in the room to the left of the next hall. He's an interesting thinker, but I would suggest taking some of his ideas with a grain of salt. Yeah, I don't need to know anything else. I think the rest, again, is more just 
almost like filler for anybody who hasn't played the original, so. Uh, okay, so we looked at the museum. We still have more to explore. Reach for the stars. Curiosity is what makes us human. Well, I was told not to go in the water, right? I guess I'm alright to go in the water. Well, possibly not team spam, but you never know. I was given a warning not to do it, so uh, hey, that's why not has to do it, right? Dude, it's you! You're 1K! So nice to meet you, dude. I saw you in the completion day stream. Hey, you checked out all this ancient stuff? What's a dude? <laughs> Me too! Oh, this is amazing, isn't it? To say, I know this guy is like, like, everybody is created with their own personalities, but this guy is comes across like he is the um not the smartest tool in the uh in the shed i'm almost as new as you are i'm 99a so i've only been around for a year or so i'm still trying to get the hang of this pretty cool though right i mean existence is totally gnarly <laughs> not sure i used that right Yeah, dude. I thought this voice pack would give me a bit of confidence, help me stand out, you know? But I'm not sure it's working. Well, you're definitely standing out. That's for sure. I'm sure the founder knew what she was doing. I mean, our ancestors did sort of mess up, right? So we should probably take it easy with the expanding of stuff. Plus, did you see that trippy sky projection thing? <laughs> That was some freaky stuff, man. <laughs> Just seems safer to stay in the city. Sure I do. When I first left the birthing lab, I was so overwhelmed that I hid in my quarters for three weeks straight. And if I'm being honest, that's sort of where I want to be right now. What's a dude? Dude is an old human word that means an excellent person. I like to use it because I think we should all be excellent to each other. Honestly, based on everything I know of ancient human culture, I think he's a ghost. I don't know, dude. If ghosts don't exist, why did they make so many movies about them? Fair point. Right. Before you go, dude, uh, maybe you can help me? I'm not sure I should keep this voice back. What do you think? You're 1K. You're special. I'm happy to go with whatever you recommend. Um... I mean, yeah, it's unique and it sets you apart. I wouldn't go for the middle one. So... Yeah, make your own choices, dude. You're right, dude. You're absolutely right. I'm gonna do exactly what you told me to. Um... 
but I just told you to make your own choices, so not to do what anybody tells you to do. Okay. Anyway. Currency was an medium of exchange which played a significant role in their systems of labor and resource distribution. Intense conflict sometimes are observed possible possession of these objects leading to injuries or even death. Level sphere used in the popular ancient human game known as football or soccer. This game was played around the entire globe and across around, aroused great passion in its followers. It may it was also often simulated digitally, most notably in the form of football glory. 1994. Was that like one of the first, like early football games? Is that a throwback to maybe like the developers or the publishers, like a game that they were essentially involved in? I wonder. Founder, bless you, friend. The name I currently go by is Belmarsh. As to who I am, that changes and shifts, don't you find? Every person is an ongoing story, full of twists and turns and surprises. I'm meditating, letting go of narratives like time and space and simply allowing the illusion that is my ego to merge with everything that surrounds it. It's not unity, but the absence of division. There was never a self or an other in the first place. Yes, I did, but I'm not particularly perturbed by it. Events occur, my friend, that's all. At the end of the day, we are all one. You are the founder, and so am I, and Prometheus is just another story we are telling ourselves. Interesting. He's just kind of doing his own thing, I guess. It's like they just build these like random structures. They have like the museum which captures all of these areas from the past in the original game, so like I guess it's kind of like an extension to the museum though, right? Master J Jubation is combat muscle fatigue and other physical ailments common to biological organisms prevented pain. The ancient human equivalent of error codes 704, 705, 921, and 932. Not sure I'm familiar with those error codes. This sanitary hardware used to dispose of biological excretions, resulting from food and water intake required to power ancient human biology. Such hardware was connected to a vast network of subterranean pipes leading to wastewater treatment facilities, a classic example of the ancient infrastructure used to control their impact on the environment. Forget about the loo. Like rendering. I thought there was like some weird figure stood here then for a moment. One K, you straight far. Well, that gives me a chance to apologize for completion day not being entirely complete. Yes, it's my responsibility. I'm the chief architect. It was supposed to be done in time for completion day, but we simply didn't have enough resources. It has two purposes, to protect New Jerusalem from the world and to protect the world from New Jerusalem. At this rate, I'm not sure. Maybe another decade or two. That's what the founder taught us. One city may not seem like much, but just look at the dead city and how it transformed the environment. 
the consequences are still with us, even more than a thousand years later. You're right, I have heard that argument. But the way it's been explained to me is that the dome has a greater value than just its practical use. It's a symbol of the society we aspire to become. Yeah, like, I don't know if it was like intentional. Get through the uh, frames here. Um, the way like the conversations are held in this like reminds me a lot of the way Fallout do theirs, or uh, sorry, Bethesda do theirs with like Fallout and um, uh, I can't think of what the new game's called. Starfield. Starfield. very like simplistic in the, in the form like it just just like a one-on-one -on -one conversation no just a random observation yeah we do i do like to uh, go off the beaten track lb as um Clearly you're allowed to do this in this game without being told, you know, the words, the words are the world. We're Elaheim to um, pull us back to where we're meant to be. I did feel like a little bit disappointed that there's not more, like, out in these little bits and pieces. Seems like they could have like made it a little bit more rewarding that just rather than just like building these vast open spaces. Could have put a little bit more in these areas, but just uh, an observation. Okay, so I think we've found our way back to the museum, haven't we? After all that. So, still a few places I think that I'm missing. Oh. We're looking forward to playing the winners of the biannual G Gehenna Memorial Interactive Fiction Exhibition, now in its 312th edition at the Gehenna Memorial Pavilion. Unfortunately, due to the, our new power management distribution plan, and pavilion will have to remain closed for a little longer. Thank you for your patience. This is disappointing. Would have been great to have them read ready for completion day. We all have to make sacrifices to stay true to the founder's vision. Those text adventures are the only thing that breaks me out of monetary, monotone, monotony. Monot monotony, jeez. Why prioritize this pointless completion day celebration over an exhibit that people actually care about? Art is one of the last things we actually still do. Is that going out the window now as well? Great regarding a power management plan is definitely welcome and you will be able to express yourselves in the next election, but this thread was just to mention, meant as an announcement. I apologize for enabling replies to begin with. Alright, so where haven't I been? I don't think I've been over here, have I? There's somebody over here to talk to. Milton's Rest. Hello, 1K. Nice to meet you. What brings you to Milton's Rest? Makes sense. It must be strange to be thrust right into the middle of all this. But you picked a good spot. Milton's Rest is the perfect place to relax and think. Well, this is the spot where the founder buried her first cat, Milton. She found Milton just after she woke up, and he lived with her and the first companions for almost 20 years. They say she was heartbroken when he died and swore that one day she would find the means to extend the lifespans of biological organisms. 
Probably, but we haven't really tried. It's not really considered part of the goal, you know. So, unfortunately, our cats still die pretty quickly. You fall in love with them, they become a part of your life, and then they're gone. That's why we built this place, to remember them. I'm sorry, but why? I mean, it sounds profound, but is it really? Death is natural, so is disease, pain, extinction. That doesn't mean we just shrug and ignore it. If we love something, we protect it. Even if I do everything right, eventually I will watch every cat I love die of kidney failure. What's good about that? Putting aside fortune cookie platitudes, how can we look at suffering and death and declare it good? Wow, I got this guy's back up by saying that, didn't I? Jeez. So what? Even if there is one, why can't it wait? Is this world so insignificant? This is what we know to be real. This is the life that we're actually living. Why not care for the living beings that are here with us now? <laughs> Sorry. I know you're new around here. I shouldn't be throwing all these heavy ideas at you. I get pretty passionate. Maybe yeah, we should talk just... about something lighter. They're incredibly odd creatures. I've had many, and no two are alike. They have strange habits, they do unexpected things, they have zero respect for anyone. They're the weirdos of the animal kingdom, basically. And despite that, or maybe because of it, they end up running your life. <laughs> I once didn't use my recharging station for almost 15 years because one of my cats liked to sleep in it. <laughs> I do. Her name is Patricia. She's very beautiful and very specific in her preferences. She loves sunshine and sitting on people's heads. <laughs> and she has a psychotic hatred of flies. I, I don't mean that she tries to catch them like a normal cat. I mean she is furious at the mere fact of their existence. I think the most amazing fact about cats is that they self-domesticated. Which is another way of saying that they're not properly domesticated at all. They just showed up one day and decided to start living with our ancestors. Then, after our ancestors died, they went back to living in the wild, and when we showed up, they moved right back into our homes. Dogs, meanwhile, turned back into wolves. They needed to change to survive. Cats just are. Yeah, I, I, I'd always thought, LB, to be fair, that the cat ending was canon, so... I'm guessing these are possibly, like, cats. so much he struggled with diarrhea. Wow. Yeah, I mean, the sound as I, like, stroked that cat was very, kind of, like, coarse. 
I'm just gonna flick through these just to say that I've been through them all, but I don't really think there's a lot to take through this. Is that Milton? Oh no, Mr. Her name is Luna, she smells like tuna. So we still need to find out the uh, tablets of the founder and the Alexand Alexandra Drennan memorial. Hey. Hey. It's a bit delayed. I can't like. I'm quite a way away from. Uh, a person there. Human art makes that a fork. Yeah. Okay. Prince edition of Clue West Stratton, so the materialist philosopher who defined the Talos principle. They said it! They said the name of the game! A toothbrush? Yeah. Old pistol that's broken. Big swords. Oh, it's you. Number one thousand. Today is completion day, isn't it? Sorry, I turned off all the streams. Founder bless you, I guess. Not really, no. But I don't want to burden you with my problems on your special day. You're as new to this world as it gets, 1K. What do you think might give you a sense of meaning? A sense that life is actually worth living? Oof. Um... That's probably correct, but I've tried a lot of different approaches, and there's always been something missing. Love, 1K. It's our only point of access to the divine, our only way of transcending ourselves without losing what makes us unique. I'm absolutely certain, but... But... The right person for me hasn't been born yet. None of the people in this city are who I'm looking for, and if we really stop making new citizens, I'll be alone forever. Who wants to find someone to fall in love with? Yeah, I suppose that's quite true. You know, it's not something that you majority of people don't just like fall in love at first sight. I would say that one. I think that's just misplaced ego. Yeah, love takes work, but it's not something you just will into existence. We can't control everything in life, 1K. Try to keep that in mind. Okay. He obviously didn't like my answer to that, my approach. There's possibly a uh, a quest. 
All right, let's try and find these uh, these last two areas. As time is ticking. I think this is the memorial. When I was in ninth grade, my parents took me to Pompeii. At first, I was amazed by the feeling of walking through an ancient city. But then I suddenly got scared. I realized that I was walking through a real place. Are these the original voice memos from the... I guess they are, aren't they? And now it was all gone forever. I ran to my father, crying, and told him about this. And he said, I remember so clearly. He said, yes, but we are here. So long as there are people in the street, the past isn't really gone. Everything on this planet, from the surface of the Earth to the composition of the atmosphere itself, has been shaped by life. It's a process that takes millions of years. But we humans, with our technology, with our understanding and manipulation of systems, have changed everything in just a few centuries. I think that's also part of what makes us human. We reshape the world in our image. It's how we create ourselves. And how we destroy ourselves. Yeah, it's like... I mean, it's pretty weathered. DNA is information transmitted across time. The living and the dead are part of the same chain, bound together by chemistry. That's true of all species, but humanity has taken this bond further. Thanks to technology, we have access to the thoughts and ideas of people whose physical bodies are long gone. Like you listening to me now. Even though I'm definitely dead at this point, you're part of that chain. You have the capacity to remember. The answer that came to me again and again was play. Every human society in recorded history has games. We don't just solve problems out of necessity. We do it for fun. Even as adults. Leave a human being alone with a knotted rope, and they will unravel it. Leave a human being alone with blocks, and they will build something. Games are part of what makes us human. We see the world as a mystery, a puzzle, because we've always been a species of problem solvers. I want to say they were in the original. I, I think I remember the Pompeii one, but I'm not sure about the other ones. But I guess that's kind of like what he looked like, I guess. I don't think we... Well, it was never a picture or any sort of visual representation of her in the, uh, in the original game, which is um, quite interesting. Oh, hello there. You must be the long-awaited 1K. Lovely day for a walk, is it not? I'm glad you think so. Our capacity to enjoy beauty is a big part of what makes us human. The Alexandra Drennan Memorial. Are you interested in history? Uh, yeah? How wonderful. I'm not a full-fledged historian, but I do consider myself a bit of an aficionado. Well, where do I even start? This, my dear 1K, is someone who could very well be considered the mother of us all. A remarkable scientist by the name of Alexandra Drennan, also known 
as the progenitor. A long time ago, this planet was inhabited by our ancestors, a species of bipedal mammals with unusually large brains. When a particularly lethal virus threatened to wipe out civilization, it was Alexandra Drennan and her team that decided to create the program that would eventually result in the creation of our kind. Without her, you and I would not exist, and everything our ancestors had accomplished would be forgotten. By studying her writings and recordings, I have learnt that Alexandra Drennan had immovable faith in humanity, in our ability to persevere, in our curiosity, our bravery, our kindness. While we might not share our ancestors' biological characteristics, I'd like to think that we have inherited those other qualities. And I admire Alexandra Drennan for keeping that faith, even when it must have, at times, been quite difficult. I think I need to know why have you have nice such of them. Obviously, um, it's to preserve kind of her memory and honor her for everything that she's done as the, like, the leading lady kind of thing. All right, let's go and have a look at the tablets of the founder. Then I think we have possibly explored everywhere. Great 1,000 citizens, the ideal number of humans. Live in harmony with nature, maintain balance in all things. Be respectful towards others, respect the tradition of our people, be mindful of the mistakes of our ancestors. Be thankful for the pro progenitor, Alexander Drennan. Be thankful to the keeper of memories, Arkadeshev Verneski. Sorry for butchering the name. Keep bright the memory of Gehenna and its people who found peace. Founder bless you, 1K. How lovely of you to come here, to the very spot where she established the teachings that led to your creation. The Founder was born out of the trials of Elohim, an almost impossible test created by our distant ancestors. To pass these trials, she had to embody the most important virtues. She was smart and wise and humble. And through her perseverance, she resurrected humanity itself. With the help of the First Companions, she founded this city, which has given our species a chance at redemption. The Founder taught that humanity was destroyed by its hubris. Our ancestors thought they could play God and treat this planet as something to dominate. They surrendered to a fever of growth and extraction until the planet finally punished them for it. That's why the Founder created the goal. So we would have something to strive for in her absence, but also a limit we must never pass. That's not for us to know, but I believe that one day she will return. It may not be long now, Perhaps after we finish the dome. It was supposed to be finished before completion day. Well, it doesn't matter. The Founder will return when she sees fit. They were the first to be born after the Founder. Two whose bodies had been anointed by our ancestors, and ten who were made whole by the Founder herself. They are the wisest of us. Though sadly, some were lost in the early days before New Jerusalem was built. And some, I'm afraid, some seem to have rejected the Founder's teachings. Happy completion day, 1K. Hmm. I'm having some thoughts about the Founder. I mean... The Founder's blessings. I don't think I would be, like, massively surprised if we go to other places and the Founder has kind of, like, set up other civiliz civilizations. I don't know. It's just something I'm not, like, 100% sure on, like, 
with the founder. It's, it's kind of like she's like created this environment for a start and set up this culture and this this place for these other call them humans to almost like be civilized and create their civilization and have this democracy and bits and pieces. But I don't know, I get the kind of feeling she's maybe gone off to kind of try and make other civilizations elsewhere. But I guess um, all that will become apparent in the uh, not too distant future, because I'm sure somewhere down the line we will be bumping in to the founder. Um, so German. Hello, 1K. This expedition is taking a lot of our resources. I'm really not sure it's a good idea. But what's done is done. So I have a lot of work to get on with. I'm the mayor's chief aide. All the things no one else wants to do. Polling the citizenry, implementing new policies, recording decisions, fielding questions people could answer elsewhere. Our goal as custodians of New Jerusalem is survival and stability. Our ancestors proved human civilization is precarious. This apparition in the sky, and now your expedition to its supposed source, these are more precarious than stable. I don't like it. You represent the completion of the goal. I'm proud of what we've achieved, and the restraint we show in not pushing ourselves further. That kind of like goes against human nature, right? That they, they, they're supposedly humans, but as humans, we continue to strive to push ourselves further and further. But I don't know, maybe actually having said that out loud, maybe that's the whole point is that they don't want to repeat past mistakes. So by having a manageable goal, they're not going to push themselves to the brink of extinction. For our people to be happy with what we have. Some of us may have an adventurous spirit, but that can never be sated. What matters to me is having my loved ones around me, safe and secure. Alrighty. Um, answer your question, LB. Where's like, can I not like see the rest of my log? It's like only like recent logs, isn't it? That's a shame. Um, yeah. Uh, in that case, no, I don't think I remember. I was going to like look back to my original um, conversation after I'd first been birthed to kind of see the founder's name. Okay, well, I think looking at the time that's going to be a great place to leave it for tonight before we head out on this uh, expedition I have to say a little bit surprised um i wasn't kind of expecting the whole like first few episodes to be kind of like a bit of a a, a background knowledge and ex exploration so yeah hopefully we're gonna head out on the next stream onto exploration and we will get into some more puzzle kind of side of it so yeah looking forward to that thanks everybody for tuning in uh, we will be streaming again on friday so i do plan on doing as many double day uh, two, uh double day streams or double streams uh as whatever you want to call it as i can to um kind of get through the game so um yeah, we're back same time on Friday, 9 p.m. GMT for some more Talos Principle 2. Thank you very much, everybody, for watching. I really do appreciate it. And until next time, I've been Optic. You've been awesome. Take care. Stay safe. Happy gaming. Bye, guys.